Hey guys, this is Mindy back with another Cup of Love, Cup of Wisdom. Let's get in here and do an energy check. Let's see what's going on. Remember, this could be past, present, or future energy. Remember to take what resonates. Leave what doesn't. Flip the signs and rules as needed. Keep in mind, this is a collective read, not a personal read. If you'd like a personal read, the details are my description box from the channel. You can email me at aceofcups at yahoo.com. Okay, so I had a few cards come out. Snap out of it. If you want something, go get it. Someone may need to snap out of something, get out of their head. You know, um, if you've been slacking or procrastinating regarding doing something or taking some sort of action, maybe you need to go get it. Try, go, you know, there's some sort of action you may need to take. There's no place like home. So maybe you've gone through a period where, you know, you may, may be looking to relocate or get a different home. Uh, maybe you've been turned down multiple times, but there's something that you need to do or there's, you know, you need to get out of your head. I'm mad as hell. I'm not going to take this anymore is in the reverse. Some people are worth melting for. So there may have been a disagreement or an altercation with somebody or someone may have gotten mad or tried to upset you or tried to stop you or stall you from moving or getting a home or a residence um, they could have been trying to place barriers in your path this could be in the form of like evictions or you know someone who would like call up your landlord and cause some problems for you something like that um but someone someone may um be melting for you have some sort of emotions for you or about you Someone may need to snap out of their head or get out of their head and make some sort of proposal to their significant other. So someone may need to stop fighting the feeling of not wanting to live or cohabitate with someone and just do it. Because someone has feelings for another person, but they may be hesitant to take some sort of action. Right side up. So things are shifting. This came out sideways, so now near future energy. So things are shifting if things have been upside down in your life or in someone else's life, things are starting to turn right side back up again. Okay, so there's been a shift. You Maybe you've been feeling it energetically. Um, maybe you've been experiencing some highs and lows because of all the solar stuff, the eclipses, the retrograde stuff. I have high in the reverse. So someone may have been feeling low. Maybe they thought, you know, maybe if you were fighting with someone or there was a disagreement, maybe they, they didn't think that, we're, you know, worth living with you would be worth the pain in the ass. Like maybe sometimes you're a pain in the ass. Maybe sometimes they're a pain in the ass. Or maybe someone asked you to move in with them and um, maybe you told them no. And maybe it, um, you know, caused a disagreement or something like that. And, you know, someone may be feeling low about the situation. I have inside and lie down. So someone wants to lie down with you. They want you on the inside. Someone wants to, ooh, I just heard that. <laughs> I want to feel you from the inside, nine inch nails. Um, so the intimates, the intimacy, the intimate parts of your relationship aren't bad. Okay, so that's not a problem here. And somebody definitely wants to lie down with you. They want you inside their home. They want to cuddle with you. Um, you know go to bed with you each night but there's a separation here so together and stop an adult so there could have been a separation because somebody was acting childish this could have to do with um you know an altercation or disagreement that you guys had and so maybe something had started to move forward in your relationship maybe you were getting ready to take something to the next level and then something stopped suddenly and there could have been a separation. Maybe you're spending more time apart from each other because somebody was acting childish. Maybe you hurt their feelings or something like that. And, um, you know, they lashed out and they could have said some hurtful things to you. Somebody wants to smooth something over with you, but they could be in the dark or they're hiding something in the dark. Something's in the dark being hidden. So maybe they want to smooth something over with you, but they're in the dark on how to do that. Or they want to smooth something over with you, but they would have to tell you some sort of secret or reveal something to you. Something would have to come out into the light um, for this to happen. 
or they're trying to do this secretly. So they may be trying to smooth something over with you by doing something secretly. Like, I want to say a surprise. Maybe someone's trying to surprise you with something. Let's find out. So death, rebirth. There's a transformation that's coming. Maybe someone is going through a transformation. Maybe they are realizing they don't want to live life without you. Or maybe you're just going through a transformation or both of you. The big changes are coming. This could be a change of residence, home. Somebody wants to grow with you. So maybe somebody here went through a transformation and they decided they want to regrow something with you with that tail there. Um, somebody could want to regrow something or grow something maybe fresh with you. It's like somebody wants to start something new with you and this could be in the form of like a new home or a new new commitment to each other. Memories. So someone could be having memories of you. You could be having some fond memories of somebody else. I just heard someone's growing up or grow up. So maybe somebody wants to be an adult now. Maybe they're ready to give up their childish behavior. Maybe they're remembering a childish thing they did that caused some sort of imbalance here with Libra. So maybe they said or did something to cause an imbalance or maybe somebody else in your life was causing an imbalance for the situation, you know, like third party interference, adaption. Okay, so there was an imbalance because somebody didn't want to change. They didn't want to adapt to the circumstances. They kind of liked things the way they were. But maybe you gave them an ultimatum or they gave you an ultimatum. Someone could have been given an ultimatum where it was like, okay, things need to change. We need, we're need we either doing this or we're not doing this kind of thing. So there was an imbalance if someone was given like an ultimatum or a decision, if they were at a crossroads. They decided that they didn't want things to change, and now they could be regretting that decision because they would rather live with you than without you. Let's see if anything else comes out of these cards. <clears throat> so Mercury Retrograde fucked some shit up, okay? Someone could have even blamed something on Mercury retrograde, electronic issues, communication issues, review everything. So this may have had an impact on some things. Um, there could have been an altercation. I told you there's some crazy shit going on with these eclipses, especially with this Aries energy going on. Um, altercations, disagreements, miscommunications are at an all-time high, especially in relationships. So there could have been a lot of conflict going on or there's going to. Because Mercury retrograde could be significant. It came out. So there was some sort of communication issues. Maybe a lack thereof. There's definitely some challenges here. This came out sideways. Make a decision. Work on inner healing. So someone has a decision to make. Do they want to work on inner healing? Someone's at a crossroads. This could be you or another person. Someone has to decide to work on inner healing. Because someone's being a narcissist. Someone's too full of themselves. They kind of want things their way or the highway kind of energy. And they need to do some healing. And you may have pointed this out and it may have not been received well. Okay, <laughs> you know, that happens during communication sometimes. So you may have ended up telling someone how narcissistic they, they are or how they're being. Okay, and it, they may not have taken it so well. So someone lost patience. Patience, just a few more months, things are come, good things come to those who wait in the reverse. Someone could have lost patience because there was a distance. You and your partner may be physically or emotionally distant. So you may have just gotten tired of some bullshit or someone else, the other person got tired of waiting um, for someone to do the healing, to pull their head out of their ass. And so you may have withdrawn emotionally. But someone is reminiscing about you. Intimacy, that sexual chemistry. I told you that Nine Inch Nails song, I Want to Feel You from the Inside. Um, someone's thinking about those intimacy moments, about wanting to have them with you, wanting them, like, every night, like, on the daily. <laughs> like, not in the dark, but in the light, openly. They don't want to hide from you. 
but they have some healing to do. But they could be scared. They could be scared about what will happen if they decide to take this leap of faith with you. Because like I said, this person has, their nar narcissist came out. So they have these narcissistic tendencies. So they could have some control issues. Maybe they were doing the math using a calculator, bank machine. You know, so maybe someone did the math here and something didn't add up. Maybe you guys are um, not on the same level financially. Maybe one person has more money than the other. So they didn't want to be um, a cash cow for someone, possibly. Something could be getting made public, though. Reading a newspaper, burning your fingers. So someone could get burned by some sort of information or announcement if it gets to be made public. That could be something to do with that dark energy that came out when it said dark. Uh, maybe a secret. Maybe this was like a secret relationship. Someone could be feeling like a horse for popping the balloon, like screwing up the party, ruining the party. It's like this person may have felt like an ass or they're being an ass because maybe they made something strictly about sex, camel humping here, um, you know, but you got them hook, line, and sinker. So it's like, okay, they, they feel like an ass because they tried to make it look like this situation may have been nothing more than just a sexual exchange or something casual. Um, it could also be that, um, other people, this may be considered like risky commitment thing where someone feels like they would get burned if this information became public. Um, so someone may have been trying to hide this. So maybe there's some sort of drama that would come out if this situation chip became public or this relationship was made known to the public. Or maybe it burned your ass that they were just using you for sex or you felt like they were just using you for sex and you're just like, you know what, you made your point, like I'm done with this shit if you're not going to move forward with me. If you don't want something solid with me, why am I wasting my time with you kind of energy? So it could go either way. Let's check these bad boys out and see there's any emotions that are going to pop out here. There's a positive outcome. To readjust my cards here. So there is a positive outcome regarding this situation. Or at least for you. Or whoever's in the upright. Yeah, so someone may have been keeping a secret. With the moon card, someone may have been partnering up with someone secretly, or this could have been someone partnering up with you secretly. So this could have been, like I said, a secret relationship or something that was being kept hidden. There's going to be a message here, positive message. So there's an outcome with a positive message that someone may want to send to you, or that you're going to receive, or that you're going to send to somebody else. Maybe they want to tell you what they've been keeping hidden or keep whatever secret they've been keeping from you. That they see a positive outcome with you. That maybe there's a chance to have like, maybe they're seeing that there's a possibility of having this Ten of Cups happiness outcome with you. So this may be someone saying, hey, let's fuck around and find out. Let's do this. The only way we're going to know if this is going to work is if we give this a shot and try it. But it looks like there's a positive outcome for at least, for two people here. So there's a secret that someone may have been, um, you know, not wanting to change. They were afraid of getting off their path or changing path. Maybe they thought that they were on the wrong path. They could have also been dealing with somebody who didn't want to change or grow or transform. They could have been stuck in between two people. Um, not necessarily, but it, it, I mean, it's a possibility for some of you. But they could have been afraid that they were on the wrong path. 
and they didn't want to go through a transformation or they were dealing with someone was dealing with someone who didn't want to go through a transformation or a change and someone got scared that something was never going to change. So maybe you got scared that this person was never going to change or maybe this person was scared that they were on the wrong path and nothing was ever going to change. Maybe you've been fighting a lot more recently, but it's maybe because, you know, you weren't on the same page. It's like you wanted things to change and this person maybe didn't. So there was some sort of fear of change that was going on in this situation. Someone was scared of things changing in maybe both of your situations. Mostly for them because they're a narcissist. So they were mostly thinking of their situation. So someone was scared about changing things up with a feminine energy or this is a feminine energy that was scared. Maybe they needed to release a, a feminine energy. So someone could have been on their path with another feminine energy. There's a witchy energy here who was watching. So maybe they were, they were being watched by a feminine energy. This could be a mother, wife, lover. Uh, maybe somebody was watching, kind of scoping things out or watching a feminine. And it also could have been them. So even though maybe this relationship ended for a while or took a break or something like that, there's some distance here. Someone was still watching a feminine energy in the barriers, hangman energy, but something is stopping them from coming towards them because they were disloyal. So there was disloyalty here. So there could have been a third party situation for some of you guys. Yeah, but it ended up not being their Ten of Cups, their happiness. So somebody was watching this feminine, even though they could have made a wrong choice and was disloyal to um, you. So maybe, okay, so maybe y'all had an altercation, disagreement. There was a separation and this person may have stepped out, okay, of the relationship. And it didn't work out the way they thought it was going to. It was not, it didn't make them happy. They don't want, they, they may have realized that they don't want to keep going through this cycle over and over of like just dating, you know, some, you know, it's like they feel like maybe they're getting too old for this shit. Like it's time to grow up. And once again, um, the star here, like a wish and a positive outcome. So someone's wishing and hoping for a positive outcome, their deepest wishes and desires. Maybe they feel that about you or you feel that way about them. Someone is desiring you. They're wishing for you. So they could be trying to manifest you. They could be trying to manifest you back into their life. Someone was disloyal though. So, you know, um, there could have been a situation where there were multiple people who were disloyal. Maybe you cheated on each other. Or maybe the person that they cheated on you with cheated on them. But we have someone here who's sprinkling in some love, some wishes, some hopes, some desires. Someone could be concocting. Someone's manifesting. Yeah, so someone's in their magician mode. And they're manifesting this Ten of Cups happiness. And they want to come and gift you something, possibly. I don't want to say love bomb, but someone wants to give you a gift. Gift you things. Someone sees you as a gift. Maybe they didn't see it before because they're so full of themselves. They couldn't see past their nose kind of thing. I just heard it. they cut off their nose despite their face. So whatever action they did, it backfired on them because I have two disloyal people here. I have two two disloyal totos. So there was a, two betrayals to something here, to a situation, whether it was you both doing it to each other or, you know, they did it to you and then it happened to them. Someone could be in bad health or having like an anxiety attack or panic attack. Someone could be losing their shit. Um, someone could be feeling like their heart is broken, like maybe they can't breathe. I just heard I can't breathe without you. I don't want to live without you. So, um, yeah, because someone wants to partner up with you. So this, you know, someone could be either in bad health or they're having a full-blown panic attack thinking of... Um, not being able to be with you because they want to be partnered up with you and they can't imagine life without you. But they fucked up in the past. There could have been an altercation with someone here because someone just wanted money, wanted a handout. So they could have ended up with like a gold digger energy and then they tried to come back around or some gold digger energy came back around. So maybe it was their baby mama, baby daddy situation. 
um, someone, someone became abusive because they found out that they were just getting squeezed for money or they were trying to force someone to give them money and someone made like a U-turn. So someone came back and there's a lie. And so someone's in a bad mood maybe because you know that they lied. Okay, so maybe this person has a secret that, and you know, they're not being honest with you and this is frustrating to you. So maybe they're lying about why they're in a bad mood or why they're fighting, but it turns out that maybe they got taken for a ride either while they were dealing with you or while you guys were on a break. Maybe they could have even felt like you were just using them for money. Like I said, there could have been an unequal money exchange in the situation. Yeah, somebody may have thought that something was like a spoonful of, uh, you know, sugar, honey, medicine. So someone was really sweet, but someone was feeling very suffocated. So someone may have felt suffocated in a situation where it's like, okay, um, I need some space. I need some distance. Things may be getting too serious. And they may have even thought that you were using them for money or they ended up hooking up with somebody else who is just trying to use them for money. And they may have, like, gotten into a physical altercation. Someone may have gotten slapped or hit or something. But somebody was feeling suffocated and was trying to get away from someone. And so I'm seeing, like, a fight or a situation where there's two people arguing. Someone's trying to leave and someone may not be, like, wanting them to leave or something like that. And they're trying to stop them from leaving. It's like, no, you're going to sit here and talk to me. Kind of Like, there's an altercation. Someone could have gotten hit, okay? So someone could have gotten slapped or hit. Whether the police got called or not, I guess we'll find out if anyone got arrested. But, yeah, things could have taken a physical turn with somebody. So they lied about you or someone. So someone lied about you or lied about someone else, whether they were involved with someone. And someone's driving by your home. <clears throat> They're telling the truth and a promotion is coming. So someone, someone may be getting ready to speak the truth. They possibly been driving by your home, seeing if you're dealing with anyone else. Um, because you could be in separation from this person. There could be a distance, whether it's emotional or physical. And they lied to you and you caught them in a lie. Yeah, there's competition that you don't know about. So maybe they want to tell you about this competition or they think you don't know about this competition. <clears throat> maybe you've been feeling it. That, um, you know, somebody's attention has been divided elsewhere. Maybe it's even the person that they're dealing with that's driving by your home to see if they're there. Smiles are contagious. Be a carrier. It could be something significant about carrying something, some sort of baggage, mail, a letter. Someone may have to tell you the truth. Um, maybe that they caught something as well. Maybe you'll have to go get tested. Someone didn't have that Watt Big Package energy. Somebody was just under the influence of drugs or alcohol, or at least that's what they're going to say. The sex wasn't even that good anyway. It wasn't worth it. I was high. I was drunk. I was this. I was that. I wasn't myself. Whatever the case, someone is going to have an excuse here. It wasn't that serious. It was just a one-time thing. Whatever the case. Someone doesn't know they're being watched. So someone is watching someone in this situation. They're driving by another person's house. They're watching. They're stalking. Someone here is innocent. So someone here is innocent, is being watched, and someone's confused. Wait a minute. I thought they were doing this, that, and the other. So you may find out that someone is really spending time home alone or... Maybe I'm not making excuses. Maybe this person cheated on you because they thought you were disloyal to them. And they're watching you to see who you're hooking up with. And you're innocent. You're just fine. You're just chilling at home by yourself. You're not seeing anybody. Too blessed to be stressed is in the reverse. Legit spell worker using dark magic in the reverse. 
Marriage is like Jurassic Park and drug raid or SWAT team is in the reverse. So somebody may have been stressed out about some backfired um, spell work they did. If they sent anyone like spark some sort of investigation. Oh, someone could be married. Someone is married. Marriage is like a Jurassic Park. So someone, and they also may feel like if they marry you, this would be like, um, y'all trying to like take each other out or something. Someone's confused about someone else in a bad marriage. Maybe one of you guys have separated from somebody or maybe you went through a divorce or recently went through a divorce. Maybe someone hooked up with someone that they were married to, something like that. Um, somebody could have been under a spell. So maybe someone initially started to separate from someone and someone did some spell work and it could have backfired. Like maybe things did work out for a little bit, but then there was some sort of investigation that was sparked or someone, someone made an allegation. Somebody want, somebody needs to cancel their plans. They're crying. So someone's crying about some canceled plans. I can't see you because someone, they may have told someone or told you that they can't see you because they're married. Maybe that's the secret that they've been keeping hidden. Maybe they're not legally divorced or something. Um, mm. So someone was very selfish. Focus on yourself is in the reverse. And ex-spouse is involved. And suffering and silence is in the reverse. So... Maybe you were expecting to reconcile with an ex-spouse or somebody else decided to reconcile with an ex-spouse instead of moving forward with you. And they could be married to this person or um, something like that. And they decided to reconcile with them because they're a narcissist. They decided to focus on themselves and you had to suffer in silence because of what they did or they were suffering in silence because they thought they made the right decision. Someone went broke and needed money. So... Okay, so this person may have reconciled with somebody and then they found out that this person just wanted them for money and nothing more, nothing less. So if this person was on a break or separation from someone they are actually still legally married to um, or separated from, they're regretting that decision or they're going to because someone's finding out someone just wanted some money, a cord cutting is needed. Someone knows the truth in reverse. So maybe you were suffering in silence because you knew the truth. Or they were suffering in silence because they didn't want to tell you the truth. And they know they know that why someone really came back to them. But they were they didn't want things to change. And someone could be trying to sabotage you or a twin flame. So this could be a twin flame trying to sabotage a connection. Or um, their twin flame trying to sabotage a connection. Or you guys could be each other's twin flame. And there's a distance here. So maybe you're at a distance and you knew the truth about why this person decided to separate from you. If this person thought that they were moving on with you, they could have come back to stop this union from happening because they maybe they thought things were getting serious. They weren't broken. They needed money. They didn't want to lose their cash cow. But someone doesn't want someone. I don't want you. So there's someone here... That, you know, someone's not interested in, I would punch you. Okay, so, you know, this person could have hurt you when they rejected you. Or this person is at a distance from you and they don't want to be with their twin flame or someone who could be sabotaging them or you. So, um, you know, the person they reconciled with could have tried to send some, like, a SWAT team or some shit or made an allegation against you. Someone could have been ready to kick the bucket. So someone could be in bad health. Or someone did kick the bucket, so maybe somebody passed away. A, B, C, or D. So someone could have had a relative that passed away or somebody that you know with those initials. A, B, C, or D. Someone passed away or is going to with those initials. Lick your wounds. So you may have had to heal from this. So maybe you had to do this on your own. Maybe you had someone pass away and you had to t deal with everything by yourself on your own. You're the best thing since sliced bread. And someone was trying to be a pain in the neck, a pain in the butt while you were healing from this. So someone was trying to cause you problems while you were grieving or suffering the loss from somebody close to you. And somebody just wouldn't quit. They were still being a pain in the ass to you. It's like they wouldn't quit even in, you know, it's like kicking you when you're down. Okay. 
And if this isn't you, this is the other person that someone was doing this to while they were suffering and grieving. It's like they wouldn't give them the opportunity. It's like someone may have snapped. It's like, just leave me the fuck alone is what I'm hearing. Like someone just wanted to be left alone to grieve, to heal. And someone was an asshole in the situation. Don't step on anyone's toes. Yeah, this person was a pain in the ass or somebody was a pain in the ass here where they stepped on someone's toes. So if you gave this person a chance while you were healing and grieving at the same time, you know, your life's full of love, life, laughter, whatever, live, laugh, love. I don't know. They still fucked up and hurt you. Okay, so, you know, you took a gamble. You took a risk. You may have opened up your heart to someone, and they stepped on your toes. And it was either them or someone that they're connected to. There's someone here that was, you know, trying to be a pain in your ass while you were doing this, grieving and healing. Someone tried to set you up in a trap. Okay, so someone stepped on your toes by setting you up for a trap. A penny saved is a penny earned. So someone, something was about money. So someone stepped on your toes because they could have been getting trapped up in this situation because someone just wanted money. Someone wants to jump in with both feet, all spare and love and war. So someone jumped into something with both feet. It could be their plans, their manipulation. It could be that they want to jump in with both feet with you, you know, all spare and love and war. But... Someone can't come out of a dark and stormy night. That's in the reverse. And they didn't have a positive outcome. Now someone wants a Hail Mary pass after they done tried to rip you off or they got ripped off. It's like, wait a minute. And they're, they're keeping this hidden. There's a secret. Air your dirty laundry in the reverse. They're keeping it hidden that they didn't have a positive outcome. That they fucked up. They made a wrong decision. If they tried to reconcile with somebody, they don't want you to know that they're a dumbass for doing this. But you already know. Patience is a virtue. Even patiently waiting for something. March could be significant in the morning time. You're a jack of all trades. So you may have impressed somebody in March in the morning time with the jack of all trades. Or you're just a jack of all trades and you're patiently waiting for something for a breakthrough. There's something significant about March. It could be um, something significant that happened or is going to happen. Or someone's birthday could be in March. So Pisces Aries could be significant. Someone is older here. So there's an older person that's significant here. So... Something significant could have happened with someone who is older. A Virgo could be significant. They're angry and they're chomping at the bit. There's something significant about the last 24 hours or the next 24 hours. Someone is going to be as poor as a church mouse because of some sort of action they did. You know, so if they made an allegation against you, someone can expect to be going to court. So if someone tried to get you arrested or send a SWAT team on you. Libra, they created an imbalance. Somebody was using the court system to create an imbalance. You could be a Libra. They could be a Libra. But something is out of balance. There's something significant with someone who was wet behind the ears in the winter time. Count your blessings. So in the winter time, somebody thought someone was wet behind the ears. Maybe because they were younger. Okay, so maybe there's an age difference between you and someone or between someone else and whoever they're dealing with. And something is a blessing or someone needs to count their blessings because if there's an age difference, maybe you're younger than this older person. Um, you know, um, they should have been thankful for you and all the blessings that you brought towards them. And instead they stepped on your toes and, you know, um, you know, count your blessings. Someone plays for the other team. Someone is your op or was your op because you get to move on. You're a force of nature. And this can also be someone who was younger than you that they chose to partner up with that should have been counting their blessings and they were your op working against you and they could have been doing spell work on you and they didn't know that you were a force of nature. So if this is, you know, somebody that you were partnered up with and they chose to reconcile with the spouse and they were doing work and shit, they were doing something. Absence makes the heart grow fonder in the reverse. They didn't want this person missing you or thinking about you. So they could have, um, you know, 
put your name in a jar, buried it out in the yard, something like that. They could have been lighting some candles, um, like trying to do some sort of uh, binding magic or something. I don't know. <clears throat> I feel like there, you know, there was some sort of spell work that did backfire. I feel like there could have been a love spell that's significant as well. Monday, someone found out that you're a force of nature or they're going to your op is... So someone could be finding out about this in Aquarius because <clears throat> someone's all talk and no action. This person playing the field and wolf at the door. This person is not pure as driven snow. Tuesday could be significant. An eye for an eye. So and what goes around comes around. Someone's going to throw in the towel with this person. <clears throat> so while the person that they chose to reconcile with was just using them for money, they were cheating on them. Like I said, someone, this green-eyed monster who's so jealous of you and wanted this person so bad, cheated on them. They were using them for money, but they could have sent someone to your house, caused an investigation. This could even be like CPS, the police. Um, they could have said all kinds of shit. They could have made a report to the courts or wrote a letter to the judge, something. I don't know. This, this bitch is crazy. Um, she's a, a broke, codependent ass cheating ass female okay that's the the energy i'm getting even if it's a masculine that's the energy they're carrying so you know somebody was jealous of you they pulled some slick shit and you know they have to reap what they sow and this masculine or feminine uh, may choose to throw in the towel and not deal with this person anymore after finding out what they did because they were acting very immature and childish just like you know they treated you W could be significant, person, place, or a thing. H. White House could be significant. Um, so, politics could be significant. Or um, a house. A, a house could be white. Like, maybe this is significant about a white house. K. Like, just the color of a house. <clears throat> C. And the internet could be significant. Casey Online could be significant. I don't even know if that still exists, but I know I've heard of it before. Z. E. J. Oh, Casey, um, I think that's barbecue, is that barbecue sauce too? Barbecue, uh, Masterpiece KC, is that a thing? <clears throat> oh. Maybe someone likes some barbecue. X, if someone's eating barbecue, now it's making me want some barbecue. <laughs> I, don't know. I love some barbecue. I... There's something about oxidation or oxidization or rust. Yeah, D. Yeah, there's definitely something about oxidize. That's weird. That like even spelled out the whole word. So there's something that could be rusted or something about oxidization. So I have W H K C J O X I D Z E. Okay. I hope this helps. Have a good day.